Hello, hello everyone. Today I have a little different video. It's still food related, but a little different. As you all know, Eric and I love going hiking and we love anything to do with the outdoors and being out there with nature. And we have a very wild uh, spring and summer planned out for us where we're gonna go out hiking and we are gonna backpack and we're gonna enjoy life to the fullest. I'm going to show you one of the things I got my daughter way back and it's a little um, it's a little camping stove where uh, you could actually uh, like remove this piece here and you could put twigs in here light that up and look how small this really is it's like it fits in my hand and you could put twigs in there and you could actually cook a whole meal with this tiny little stove um, it comes apart and folds it's got all these like hinges uh, I kind of MacGyvered it for her because she didn't want to lose these pieces. So uh, we took the ones that were there and I took a coat hanger and I kind of looped both ends. So on three sides, it doesn't fall apart. It always stays intact. And she only has one that she has to remove when she folds away. But when you go to some of these national parks and if you want to go hiking there, you're not always able to uh, start a fire with wood. And if you are allowed to use wood, a lot of them really want to make it fast. They don't want to start looking for wood. So they either carry like a propane um, tank. But I find those are way too heavy uh, to use. So uh, we decided we're going to go and do the alcohol thing. Okay, so um, now if you want to use the alcohol burner, they range between, I say about $20 and up not cheap so I'm gonna show you how you could actually make one out of cans I've got two cans right here and I'm sure if you look on the um, on YouTube you're gonna find all kinds of uh, systems where they use cans to make their own little alcohol burner I have my own little system as the way I find works the best for us but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make one of these burners now I have two of them here I have this one here that's a little bigger and I have this one here that's a little smaller this one here actually burns for about 15 minutes so if you're making something quick in the morning like an oatmeal uh, or just boiling some water for a coffee uh, I say use this one to burn rather than this one because this one will burn for one whole hour so this one is if we're going to be making all kinds of meals for ourselves especially uh, at night. During the day we're going to kind of eat whatever we have in our bag but at night we're going to cook our meals and so we want something that's going to last, the flame is going to last a long time. Now these ones are a little beat up but I'm going to show you how, how you can make some brand new ones for yourself and the best part about these things is if you do run out of electricity or the electricity goes off and you want to cook yourself a soup or you want to make yourself something at home but the power is gone you could actually burn one of these things in your house and it's safe not toxic and you can actually make some hot water or whatever you need so this is this is going to come really handy now i remember i remember the last time uh this was years back uh, we had a huge ice storm here in montreal and i stayed without any electricity for like nine days and we had no way to heat us up and this is the dead of winter we're talking january um we finally found a boat heater to warm us up if we were in a room i did ship my daughters to my sister's house but my husband and i stayed home with all the animals and uh, it was cold in here so we did find a boat heater but when i saw how the boat heater was made i says oh my god i can make something like that so i can keep the boat heater to heat up the room and i'll make something for us to cook on so it's the same system very easy to make um, I've seen some other guys make it but they have it reversed I've tried their method and it looks prettier than mine but the alcohol seeps off from the bottom and you don't want that because when you light this everything is gonna catch whatever seeps on your on your counter that's gonna light along with the top of your burner so I reversed it I'm gonna show you how I do it now, like I said, um, very easy to make, very fast to make. This one here has a lot of holes, so it's going to consume the alcohol quickly. If you put less holes, 
it's going to burn a little slower. This one here is a 15 minute time burner. And basically you take it and you put it in here and then you put your pot or whatever you use on top to cook your food. And I'm going to be showing you, my daughter and I are going to be showing you a lot of our hiking tips on how uh, we prepare vegan food for hiking because if you're going to buy it online, a lot of them are not vegan. There are a few that are vegan, but very expensive. And if you do a lot of trips like this, you don't want to spend all that money. Trust me, it adds up. So here are my two containers, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it. You start off with one container. You do need a push pin, and the first thing you're going to do is... Uh, you take your can, find it, smack in the middle. Now, I'm trying to just eyeball this. So, it might not be precise, but you want to poke a hole, smack in the middle, and that's your main, uh, where the fluid is going to go in. Now, this could be uh, a whole bunch of small holes if you want, or you could actually cut all of this out if you want. That's really up to you. Um... But I'm going to make one that's not too big and not too small. So I'm just going to go get one of the tools I need. So we're going to start off with a center hole. And like I said, this is great to have uh, at home just in case you run out of electricity. Sometimes electricity goes off and you really, you're stuck and you want some hot water. Well, you could use this little burner. Really handy. So... I'm going to use this little puncher just to make my hole a little wider and that's my center hole. Again, you can make the center hole as wide as you want. And what's good about having a small hole is you can actually throw a coin on this. Uh, you can block this hole and just burn the, flu uh, the fuel out of the tiny holes you have around the outside. Now. Like I said, very easy. We're going to start, we're going to make one hole right on the side here, or you could actually make it from the inside. This time around, we're going to make it from the inside. That one I have on the outside, so I was able to make more holes. I want to make one, same size as this one, which is going to be a small, because you don't want to sit there and have... You don't want something too big when you're making something on the go, especially if you're... Uh, it's not during a night meal. The night meal, I could understand why you want to use a bigger one because if you want to cook some vegetables or whatever and make a lot of stuff to eat, you want something that you don't have to relight all the time. So that'll be a night time burner. And they really weigh nothing. When I say they weigh nothing, they, there's no weight in this. So you could carry these without a problem. But during the day, if you want to make like a fast, uh, just a hot, if it's cool outside and you want a, like a hot tea, you want to just take a break and have a hot tea, uh, you want to use a smaller one because this way the alcohol burns out really quickly and you could throw this back in your bag and not worry about having liquid seeping through your bag. So you want a small one for when you're just like pick up and go. So here we go. We're going to start making our holes. This time, like I said, I'm going to do the inside. You're going to take your push pin and just start poking holes. You're going to do one there, come right across, so you're going to get your holes as even as you can. Right there, we're going to poke another hole. And remember, the more holes you have, the faster you burn your fuel. So, I'm just showing you different ways of doing it. There we go. And now I'm going to go right across on this side. And so I'm basically dividing this by four like a pie and now we're going to come right down to the bottom and we're going to make one over here so far easy right okay so now um, do you want to leave it as four or do you want to divide again we will I'm going to put one in the middle of the two and my smack in the middle as good as I can do it Erica you want to open the light for me love there we go. We're going to go right across. I'm going to poke another hole there. Like I said, these are very easy to make and trust me, very handy to have. You never know when you need one at home. And if you are going on these trips, 
uh, why spend twenty thirty dollars when you can make one and recycle what you have at home right now I had to make my husband go to our local grocery store and ask him if he had any empty cans because we're not soft drink drinkers we don't buy soft drinks and my husband very seldom buys beer unless we have people coming over so we didn't have any handy but my husband was nice enough to go up to the corner store and he gave him all kinds of cans for me to make these and what's fun is if you are someone who goes on hikes and you know people that do you can make them some give them away to friends and it's just fun and cheap and it works okay so I am gonna make minimal amount of holes not as much as this one because we want to see how much how much longer it's gonna burn with less holes so there we go we've got that part done now we're making a small one so you want to cut down your can around here so probably about an inch now you can measure this or you can eyeball it like how I do it I never measure anything basically I'm gonna start cutting on my can but again if you want a perfect beautiful measured uh, burner uh, then I'm gonna tell you measure it mark it with a permanent marker and then just cut away at it I'm just gonna eyeball this I'm just going to keep cutting down until I find my perfect spot that I want mine to be. I might make it a little bigger than this, but a lot smaller than this one. So I'm going to use this as a guide, or like I said again, just measure it. You can't go wrong with that. Here we go. So that looks pretty good. And that should be just a little bigger than the one I have. Hi. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do this other one. Now, this is going to be the base, the bottom of our burner. Now, normally what they do is they make this one larger and this one smaller, and they put this one over the base. But I find that if you put, a, you have to put liquid in here. And you have to fill it up so it catches. If you put a lot of liquid in this section here, it will seep out to the bottom. So what I do is I reverse it. I put the bottom, I make the bottom one larger and I insert the top into it. So we're going to cut this off. There we go. I hope I'm making sense. And sometimes I talk, I know what I'm thinking. But it doesn't always come out the way I want it to. And you don't want to make it that much bigger either because then you have way too much to fold in. You could always trim it. So just keep measuring it and see where it takes you. Like I said, if you want to be precise, you could take a ruler, measure your can, Make the bottom one a little bigger than the top. And you're going to be good to go. Okay, let's see. I'm going to look at this. Okay, that's way, you see how that's still way too big. So I'm going to trim it just a little more. And be careful not to cut yourself. This stuff is sharp. And you're saying, why do I have to go through all that trouble when I can just buy it? Well, yeah, you can just buy it. Okay, this should be good. If I have to trim it later, I will. You're going to need a little pair of pliers because we're going to crimp this. But we're going to slightly crimp it. You don't want to over crimp it. I mean, you don't have to. You could try and insert one into the other, but you're going to struggle. 
So your best bet is just to take a little bit, just hold it and crimp, and you're going to go all the way around it. We're going to crimp the part that has the holes. Don't over crimp it. And like I said, if you run out of latrice, if you don't have latrice at home, for some reason the power went off and you want to make your kids a hot bowl of soup, let me tell you, you're going to be happy you have this. So there we go. We made just a little bit of crimping where we're going to be able to insert that. Now, a lot of people just add the alcohol straight into this. They just insert this, add the alcohol, and then they light it. I'm not crazy about that idea because... God forbid you're making your fire because you're ready to cook something and you knock it over with your knee or whatever, especially if you're out hiking and camping and you get that alcohol on your clothes. If you strike a match, let me tell you, you're going to catch everything. You're going to catch whatever's in there and whatever's on your pants. So I like the idea uh, to add cotton to my inside. Now this one here... It's cotton that I had when I made my big burner over the ice storm. Um, it was just one roll of cotton, and that's what I'm going to use. But you can use cotton balls. You can use uh, anything that's cotton that's going to soak up the liquid. And not only does it um, hold more liquid for you, because not only is it going to soak up the liquid, it's also... Um, you're able to add more liquid to your little burner. So, and, so let me tell you, by having this in there, uh, if anything gets knocked over, uh, that's holding most of your liquid, so you're not going to have as much damage as if there was no cotton in here. So, there you go. We're going to pack this in, and we're going to take this and put it right in. We're going to push it in nicely. There we go. I like to push it in as much as I can because I want this to be below the level of the trim. So this way when I add the extra liquid for me to start it, it's not going to seep through the sides. Otherwise, you will have alcohol coming out from the sides. So I like this part that's dented to be below that level. So you could keep pushing this in slowly. And if you're worried about the edges, what you could also do is lightly sand it. And look how easy that was. You just made yourself a little burner. And if you want, you could even push it in all the way and leave a lip. So when you have fuel around here, it's, it helps prime your, uh, your little burner, especially if the holes are if the holes are on the outside, but we made the holes on the inside. You still want this part that's dented below this level. So we're going to push it in as much as we can without cutting ourselves. And later on, I will sand it lightly so nobody's going to cut themselves there. You could even put a little bit of masking tape or some kind of duct tape on here and it won't be as bad. Or you could do what I did with this one. I just crimped it and it went in. So that's how easy it is to make this. Now, you say, what kind of fuel can you use? Um, fondue fuel, you could use uh, gel alcohol if you want. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can use to start one of these. Uh, if you have an extra can, I say cut the bottom of the can and make yourself a little cover to put your flames out when you're finished um, cooking or boiling water. And there's your little burner. Now this one here is in between sizes, so it's gonna probably burn longer than this one. This one is a 15 minute one, but they weigh so little that you could actually throw them. Like I'll take some in my backpack and Erica will take some. And we have uh, little burners to suit whatever need we, we need. If it's a fast cook, then we use um, 
the smaller one if it's a long cook we're going to use the larger one so we don't have to play around and add extra fuel to it so there you go that's how easy it is now I'm going to take some of the fuel I have okay so you can just go out and pick up some uh, fondue fuel that's going to work great um, but you can use yeah, there's heat you can use. Yeah, denatured alcohol is another thing you can use. Fondue fuel. So there's many things you can use in this. And they burn clean. So there you go. And always be careful, guys. If you're using this at home, I want you to be careful because if you spill any alcohol on your counter, uh, you will, it will catch. So just be very careful. I fill it up until it can't absorb anymore. And it fills the little rim on the inside so that's already one ounce these are little plastic shot glasses I have it's gonna take at least three of these for sure and you're gonna feel that your burner just gets a little heavier because it really has no weight there's two ounces right there I will clean that up before I start any fires There we go. Or you could put, um, they have those little uh, caps that you can squeeze it out. That's going to be easy for you to use also. So as you can see now, uh, I've got liquid right up to the top and it's not absorbing anymore. I just want to clean my counter before I start anything. And I'm going to use a plate because I am starting a fire in my house. There we go. I just want to be careful because it will catch. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to light it. Uh, like I said, this is more for outdoors, but if you are going to be doing this at home, always be careful, guys. Make sure that, you know, you've got something underneath your bowl. Don't fill it as much as I did because... I wasn't sure how much it was going to take in this container that I made, but you want to have at least a little puddle on the inside. I put a little too much, but that's okay. I'm going to burn it off anyhow, but make sure that you don't have any of that alcohol on you on the counter before you strike it. If you're using this at home, be very careful, but if you're doing it outside, same thing, always be careful because you, you know, you're playing around with fire, but let me tell you something. It's no different than the ones you buy. The ones you buy is basically a container, costs you between 25 and up. It's basically a container with a big hole that you pour alcohol in and you gotta light it. So you're doing the same thing except you're making your own and it's costing you a lot less. Okay. So <clears throat> now you have a choice, of course, if you, uh, if you have a fire starter, you can use one of these rods, you can use um, you can use a match, you can use a lighter, it's really up to you. So we're going to just give this a shot. Oh, on this end, where is it? Here we go. And there we go, we started it. Guys, my camera shut off. Okay, so uh, here you are. Uh, the alcohol in the center has evaporated. So what you could do now, you could simply take a coin and you could just toss it in the middle. And what that does is reduce the heat power and... It's going to burn just along the edge where the holes are. Uh, it makes a really pretty fr uh, f flame. Uh, if you want, again, you could put the holes on the outside like I did with this one. Uh, I'll put a couple of pictures on what that looks like when it burns. Uh, this one, because it has less holes, should be able to burn longer. Uh, my daughter actually, as I was testing uh, one of the burners I made her, and she was able to make a soup. And how long, Erica? Ten minutes, I think? Yeah, 10 minutes, she had a soup ready, and this is all like foods that we're preparing for our hiking trip. Um, we're going to make videos on how to make some really cheap and delicious meals that we can pack and put in our knapsack. But remember guys, play safe. If you're going to do something like this, make sure you don't leave it unattended where there's kids. And uh, just a fast and easy, cheap way to make yourself an alcohol burner that you can cook meals on a trip, camping, hiking, um, or at home if the electricity goes off, 
here's a way of you being able to uh, make yourself a burner for zero dollars. I'm sure if you don't have any cans at home, if you go to your local store, they're going to give you a couple of cans. All you need is two cans. Now, if I was ready to cook something, this would have already been in here before I lit it, so I wouldn't have to uh, pick it up while it's burning. But if you don't have one of these, you could actually make one out of a tomato can, a large tomato can. Uh, all you would need to do is maybe uh, cut a semi-hole on your can, leave the outside of your can still intact with your base, so you could slip this right in and you could put a pot right on top of your can this way. So you could actually make your own without having to buy this because uh, those aren't cheap either. But what's good about this one is that you can actually uh, take it apart, fold it, put it in a flat bag and you're ready to go. So there you go guys. Fast, easy to make. Uh, if you don't have a roll of cotton like I have, uh, you can use just cotton balls. Make sure it's cotton. Uh, you can stuff it in there and this way it absorbs the liquid and you don't have um, any dangerous spillage. Don't do what I did where I overfilled the top. You want to have just a little puddle um, right where the hole is in the center. So this way, when you start your flame, either by match or lighter, or if you're using, like I did, one of these tools to start a fire, uh, it'll catch because you want the liquid to catch. Especially if there's a small hole like that, you need a little puddle. If your hole is larger, say you want to cut all of this out, and you want to put the holes on the outside, then you don't even have to make a puddle. As long as your cotton is wet, you're going to be able uh, to start it. Okay, so there you go, guys. Very simple. Um, always remember, be careful. Uh, don't keep stuff like this lying around where there's kids. Uh, always make sure if you're doing this in the house, make sure there's something underneath your little burner. And it's really easy and cheap to make. And it's something that's really handy to have. And if you have time, you can make some for your friends and you could give those away. But remember, always be safe if you're using, uh, using fire. Let it be alcohol, wood, whatever you're using. Always be safe, guys. But you can now throw in a coin. And there you go. You're going to slow down the cooking time. And uh, you have a longer cooking period just by blocking that one hole. Um, so there you go. Very easy to make and very cheap to make. Everybody's got a couple of cans lying around. If not, go to your local store. I'm sure they'll give you a couple of cans. So there you go, guys. Another little thing you can make. Uh, we're going to be using this when we go on our hiking trips. And we needed something that did not weigh a lot. And these do not weigh. They're very lightweight and they work perfect. Uh, if you don't like that lip sticking up, uh, you could either sand that down or you could do what I did with this one. Just crimp it and push it in. You could do that or you could take the scissors and trim it. But you do want to have just a little, remember this center part of your can has got to be lower than your lip. Otherwise, alcohol is going to spill out and it's going to fall on at the bottom. And if you don't have something that's fire safe, uh, you're going to have a little fire going, uh, especially if you're using this indoors. So remember, stay safe, be safe, don't play around with fire, and leave it unattended. That's a no-no. We're going to show you some of our hiking meals that we're going to make, and how we're going to bag them, and how we're going to prepare them. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to see some videos when we go hiking, and that's going to be fun. But I did want to show you this video on how to make a small burner for no money at all, really. There is no money. The only money there is is that coin that you're going to throw on top if you want to cover that hole in the middle. But there you go. I hope you like videos like this. And if you do, leave a comment. Let me know yes or no. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.